Okay, so hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Oscar Outdoors. Uh, today I want to talk to you about a new light I've got, which is the Phoenix E03R EDC Keychain Flashlight. Okay, so welcome back everyone. First of all, thanks very much for clicking on my video. As in the intro, this is a review of the Phoenix E03R um, keychain flashlight. Um, now, those eagle-eyed amongst you will see now that my name is now laser engraved just above the Phoenix logo. Uh, this is because Phoenix have kindly sent me this flashlight to do a review um, on the Oscar Outdoors channel. Um, obviously in return for the, the flashlight. Uh, so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through all the specs and stuff that are on the outside of the packaging then we're going to open it up and have a little play so stick with me okay, so first of all we're going to go through the uh, output modes on the back and you can see right in the top corner there it's saying that the maximum output is 260 lumens okay so we'll do the uh, list in front of you so output on high mode 260 lumens 45 minutes runtime distance of 42 meters and uh, 441 candela intensity impact resistant to one meter and water resistant to ip66 okay medium 80 lumens runtime of an hour and 15 distance of 25 meters 156 candela intensity um, same uh, impact resistance and water resistance in low it's 30 lumens runtime of three hours 16 meter distance 64 candela intensity and again same um, impact resistance and water resistance in eco mode it runs at five lumens it's 18 hours runtime seven meter beam distance 13 candela intensity okay and then in red it powers out at four lumens with a runtime of five and a half hours distance of 10 meters and a 25 candela intensity on red flash uh, it runs at four lumens and it doesn't list as you can see uh, any runtime distance or intensity okay we'll just turn the packaging over now you can see this is uh, a phoenix uh, branded e03r and it says it's an all metal keychain flashlight the weight is 22 grams uh, it's charged by a type c charging port and it's got white and red light sources with a li limited lifetime warranty Maximum output of 260 lumens, as we just discussed. Maximum beam distance of 42 meters. And as I've just said, it's an all metal uh, housing body. Right, let's get this open. Okay, so as I said earlier, uh, Phoenix have kindly sent me this flashlight to review. So you can see that it has been opened and resealed because they've obviously had to engrave my name on the front there with the laser engraving, which is an additional extra, which I think was listed at around about three pounds. Uh, for like a, a similar sort of engraving okay right let's get this open okay so i've just run my knife along all the taped areas where they've re-taped it here here and here for me so just open that up there and then you reveal your instruction manual and warranty card and obviously then your usb type c charging cable which is nicely coiled up in there so you've got an additional sort of ring to add it to a, a keychain included there and then take the cable out and then let's just have a quick look at the the torch body itself well it's a, a snug fit let me tell you okay so as you can see in my hand it is not that big at all okay so let's just jump into first of all the additional warranty card that comes with it uh, so it says the 15 day replacement phoenix will replace identical or equal products with documented manufacturing defects within 15 days of purchase it's got a five year free repair so phoenix will repair the light for a free charge within five years and non-detachable light two years rechargeable battery and other accessories one year of purchase if problems develop with normal use and uh, free it says lifetime maintenance uh, if repair is required after five years from the date of purchase phoenix will charge for the parts total repair fee is dictated by the cost of the replaced materials 
Extending warranty service, an extra six months warranty period is obtained once you have successfully registered on the official website of Phoenix Lighting Limited, which only applies to flashlights, headlamps, bike lights and camping lanterns. Please keep this warranty card in contact in the... Oh. Please keep the warranty card in contacting the authorised distributors for all sale maintenance and all customer information is required to fill in out of repair is needed. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, very simple. Obviously, just your name, your email address, product name, purchase date, and the malfunction description. So this is just for when you're sending it off. Yeah, lovely. Obviously, then it gives you in different languages as well, uh, which I can't read. So I'll bring you back very shortly. Okay, so after the warranty card, you then come across this. Uh, this is just advertising another model that Phoenix Lights do. So this is the E18R, with a maximum of 750 lumens, a pattern in ultra-thin optical lens, and so on and so on. Uh, and then another one there, which is like a camping lantern, the CL26R, with a maximum output of 400 lumens. So yeah, it's got a bit of a range of their up-and-coming products. So we'll just add that to the side for a second. And then the destruction manual here, which obviously I'm not going to need at the minute because it's only got one button operation. So, all right, let's get into the lighting modes of the torch. Okay, so now I've brought you back uh, to have a closer look at the flashlight. So on this side, it's uh, like a little rubber charger, cover, uh, charger port cover. that just goes over the USB Type-C socket. And then just for the sake of the video, we're just going to show you that it's just simply connects in and charges like so. All right, so I'm just going to unplug that for a minute. So now, as you can see, there's just one button on it, which is this sort of brass colored button. There's nothing else down the side or on the back. Just a couple of warnings that do not dispose and whatnot. Okay, that's the point where you will connect the keyring uh, ring, which I will do later on. Uh, but yeah, just one button operation, and it's just warning you that it's got hot quite at the top there. Right, let's uh, do this. So yeah, just press and hold, and then the flashlight will activate, and you can see there's a green light flashing to tell you that there is sufficient power in there. Okay, so to cycle through the modes again, just press and hold again. Turns it off. Okay, so press and hold, turn it back on. And then another press, and you can see that we're going up through the intensity. So yeah, four stages on white light, so I'm just going to turn it off again. And I'm going to turn out the lighting source that I've got in the shed. Okay, so we'll uh, reactivate again, so turn it on. So this is your low mode, and then I'm going to change the stepping now. Or maybe not, I'm going to red light a little bit. <laughs> So yeah, red light, and press and hold again, back to white light, and then we'll cycle through the stages. See each one's progressively getting brighter, and then this is your maximum output, which was uh, 260 lumens, I believe. We'll press again, back to your lowest output. Okay, now to cycle to the red, you can see we're on white light, cycle to the red, press and hold again. And we're now on red. And you can see that's quite a good distance. Great for night vision. Oh, stealth. And press and hold yet again. Oh. So it's just a, a simple press once you're on the red to activate the flashing mode. That'd be great as a like a signaling device if you are out on like long walks or whatever you can clip this to the back of your pack and that'll just provide uh, some great sort of rear visibility for you right let's turn it off go back onto solid red and then press and hold again we should go back to white that's it and then one simple press turn it off okay right two seconds Okay, so I've just brought my shed keys into the shot just for the uh, sake of this part of the video. So I'm taking out now the key ring ring. Okay, and we're just going to attach that to the bottom of the torch. Now it's just obviously a standard one. Just open it up and then thread through the, the base of the torch. 
just here. Now it is quite small and quite fiddly, so it may take you a couple of attempts. But I've done that on the first one by the look of it. So yeah, just a quick simple rotation. I can't grab it. My fingers are greasy. <laughs> Okay, so that's now attached. Obviously gives you that hanging point. So now I'm just going to simply attach it to my keyring. Yeah, so on here, just got a simple picture of Oscar and S for Scott. Okay, so I'm going to go for probably the big ring. Separate that, hand that in. Oh, he says. Yeah, and then just simply rotate it around until it falls into itself. Yeah, that's going to be a perfect little addition uh, to like my EDC kit. And can't wait to use that. And I, obviously, I'm very, very grateful as well that they've managed to uh, engrave my name on there. It does look rather cool. And obviously, people then will know that this set of keys and this torch are mine. Well, perfect. Right, I'll bring you back in a second. Okay, so this has been a quick review of the uh, Phoenix E03 R EDC keychain light. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment in the description box below. Let me know what you think about this. Also, leave a link to this and the Phoenix website in the description. Now, if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Phoenix. Lighting for extremes.